you know, I kind of pride myself in having the hard to find how-tos, uh, the little tricks and tips for your NPCs and such that you're not going to get anywhere else. Now this right here is a little different than what I've been doing. I'm actually going to show you some stuff in Ableton Live 9 specifically that's really changing the game plan for, for me. Props to Ableton because they really brought the extract MIDI notes from audio to us in, in, in a big way. So this is the original sample. Here we go. This is the original sample. We all know this lovely sample from 36 Chambers. Not the, uh... So I got those piano, this piano harmony from also bass, got the under bass, and I just kept building upon instrument after instrument of harmonies, then I uh, brought in the audio samples in the MPC Renaissance here. Bass, rows, you know, laid them all together and arranged the song. Here you'll see the original sample at the beginning and I fade it out smooth and just hit them with this, this lovely, lovely banger right here. So, Ableton is really a game changer now. Instead of playing the whole song, I'll do that in a minute. I'll... Let me show you how it's done in Ableton. Here is the original instrument. The original sample, I mean. And I go here to the uh, name of the uh, sample. And you have Convert Harmony to New MIDI Track. You also have Convert Melody to New MIDI Track if it's like a a bass line or a lead or something like that. Just a monophonic instrument you would use convert melody. So convert harmony, it's gonna do its thing here in a couple seconds. There we go. And I can get in there and, uh, you know, usually you're gonna have to spend a little bit of time sweetening it up. Once you got it sounding good, What's so great is you could just duplicate it. Let me, let me throw a whirlizer here. You can use any virtual instrument or AU. Just pull it up here in Ableton. And uh, let me solo that. Ooh, that is, that is beautiful. So we got all these. What I also did was I took these MIDI notes here on the bottom. These notes are basically the bass line. All right, these notes over here. And what I did was solo it. So I got that sub hidden under it. So now I got uh, the main, main ingredients, main loops I made up in the MPC, and I'm just starting doing my drums here. Okay, now I'm gonna continue on and add my kick drum. It's real simple. And on, put down my snare. It's actually these two hitting at once. So now we'll go with the uh, hi-hats. So here we go, here is, here's the drums, and I'm going to start bringing in the 
guitar and bass. For the secret herbs and spices, what really, really just took it to the next level is the only piece of the sample I rocked was that. And I rocked it every once in a while. I arranged about a 40 bar uh, section with all the mute outs and everything and track mute. And I just played them in every once in a while, like every eight or 16. Uh, you see it right there on the grid. So on, so that is what really for me put it over the top. Okay, so I'm gonna let this rock out really quick. Here's the completed track. And just some food for thought. We definitely gotta bring the integrity back into hip hop production. Stuff that's hot right now really ain't hot. So we gotta look at the 90s and think about, well, the 90s was full of hard and clear samples and everything sounded so great because we were sampling people that really know how to play. So now we could, instead of sampling them, we can extract the MIDI notes, create our own layers of harmonics, and then chop ourselves, change up some notes. I mean, it's even more than replaying. People have been replaying samples for years to avoid clearing them. Now you can replay, you can reflip it, you can really make it your own. So I had to share this video with you guys because it's something that I'm loving. Of course, I could have just shut up, saved the tip for myself, but I'm not like that. The same as super secret martial art, this is making beats, this is producing records. Some cats get it twisted, they don't want to tell you nothing, but you're always going to get the real from my channel, so subscribe. Since the beginning of YouTube, I've been here, and I'm going to be here, and I'm going to keep coming with useful stuff. So like, subscribe, and let's put this knowledge to good use. I might not be the first one that told you about the audio to MIDI in Ableton, but maybe seeing it applied this way, how I made it in Ableton, saved it as WAV files, loaded it up into Rennie, and built my song around it, will give you some inspiration. So, you know, once again, if you got the MPC Renaissance, the MPC Studio, you really want to get up under the hood. I mean, up under the hood of that thing. Get the tutorial DVD at soundsforsamplers.com. Any other MPC user, we got the DVDs on all the MPCs and it's thorough. It's not just regular stuff, all right? It's the tricks and tips that is going to give you the inspiration. It's going to take you to the next level. So enough for the shameless plug. I gotta say peace and love.